All right, what's up, YouTube? So today I'm gonna go to Ortega Highway for a quick ride, weekend ride. So yesterday I was trying to record a video um, when I was on my way to work on the Jigsaw but there was just way too much noise too much wind noise and uh, I'm probably gonna have to remake that video today so this video is gonna be about why I don't commute on my motorcycle Why I don't take my motorcycle to work? So I'm gonna give you guys three reasons why three reasons why I don't like taking my motorcycle to work I uh, usually I always take my car and uh, yeah I mean for me uh, it's a long drive I gotta drive maybe about uh, 20 minutes 25 minutes so it's back and forth this you know uh, like 50 minutes total 40 minutes depending on the traffic uh, I usually work uh, Monday to Friday, so that's a lot of miles that adds up. So the reason number one, I'll say it's because it's a cop up up there. Um, the reason why it's because it's just too dangerous. It's a little bit too dangerous and uh, you know like a lot of people during uh, the rush hour I mean they're always you know running late to work and trying to get to work on time and I'm just trying to avoid all that you know And uh, I really don't want to drive a motorcycle if I'm in a hurry. If I'm in a hurry to work, like, oh, I'm running late to work, I woke up late and be running late to work, I really I, I want to avoid that, you know. It's just a little bit more dangerous when you're in a hurry and you're trying to get somewhere fast. There's a lot of things that you, you have to think about when you're driving a motorcycle you have to be aware you know you have to be aware of all your surroundings and look ahead and all that stuff so that's uh that's uh, reason number one why why i don't take my motorcycle to work so let's get into reason number two um reason number two i'll say it's probably because um, I really don't want to put too many miles on my motorcycles so I probably just put all those freeway miles into my car and uh, the, the tires also I mean they are a little bit more expensive and uh, I don't want to put too many I don't want to put too many uh, highway miles on the tires. I usually, I like uh, driving motorcycles for fun, so I try to get the good tires that have good grip. So they're a little bit more expensive. 
So I just don't want to end up with uh, with tires that I just you know wearing out from the center. I wanna you know take advantage of the tire and use as much as I can. And uh, yeah, I mean I have a friend that uh, he's 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 a daily driver and he drives uh, to work on his. Uh, he has a Yamaha R1. One of my friends and he's driving his motorcycle every day about 50 miles to work and then 50 miles back so that's 100 miles a day that he's putting into his motorcycle but he's driving on the uh, 91 freeway which is uh, I understand you know I'll probably do the same if I had to go that far you know just take the express lane and take my motorcycle you don't have to you don't have to pay you can take the carpool too and you don't have to pay for the express lane all you gotta do is sign up online and uh, you, you get into a express lane for free you don't have to pay so that's a good thing but um that's the only reason now uh, that's probably that's a good really good reason to do it i'll do it too you know if i had to drive really that far to avoid all the traffic on the 91 freeway and take the express lanes and don't have to pay for the express lane and save a lot of time just by lane splitting that's uh if some of you guys know lane splitting here in California is legal. That's the good thing. So now I'm gonna get into reason number three. So the main reason, uh, uh, reason number three, uh, I like to have fun on motorcycles. That's the main reason why I brought motorcycles. I mean, I want to be able, I, like I started going to the track. I want to be able to go to the track. I want to, you know, come out here to um, Ortega Highway or Azusa Canyon. I've been to uh, uh, the other place in LA. I mean, it's really fun, so I want to have confidence on the tires and uh, get good tires and have confidence, you know, that I have good grip on the tires and have more fun. That's uh, another reason why. I feel like uh, I enjoy my weekends, you know, when I get to ride. I get to ride on the weekends and you know I just enjoy either I can you know go to the track or go around the the highway it's a really nice view right here just it's probably a lot of cops so I'm just gonna go slow you know so yesterday I was driving the uh, Jigster on the highway and uh, after I got off from work uh, I mean, it was Friday, payday, yeah. <laughs> My Jigster was sitting there for like two weeks, so I got to ride it yesterday, so uh, yeah, so it was really fun, but in the long run, I really don't see myself taking uh, my motorcycles to work, I just take my car, I'm just out here enjoying my weekend, so make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe, I'll be doing more videos. Uh, and I'll probably be going to the track again most likely I'll probably go to uh, Apex again or I'm thinking about going to Chaguala but I, uh, before I go to the track I have to I have an issue with this bike uh, well first I have to work on my body positioning you know and the other thing is uh, if these bikes, these type of bikes, uh, when you lean too much into the corner, uh, it, it, it might scrape on the pegs and on your foot. 
no matter how you put it it's gonna scrape on the pegs so i have to either buy a set of rear sets for these yamaha r3 i have to buy the rear sets i saw them online they're like 450 plus tax and then i still gotta install them more there are also some uh, spacers rate uh, that raise it up a little bit higher they sell it on ebay i was thinking about getting those first for now but i couldn't find any for for this year i don't think they have them i know they have them for like previous generations but i don't know if i get those i don't know if the, i don't know i'm not sure if they're gonna fit or not so i'm still waiting on that i really want to fix this issue so that way i can be more confident on the turns when i go to the track that way i don't have to be uh, worrying about you know hitting the floor with the pegs because that can be a little bit dangerous you don't want that you want to avoid that you know so yeah so that's it for today uh make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe and see you guys next video